My name is Matthew Vichur from BudProtector.com and I want to point out to you Bruce Rogers and Stanley Morrison who were working at Cambridge in the um, after World War I and here we have someone else called J. Mark Bertrand. Now these two gentlemen pioneered the textual kind of uh, layouts as we see in the pure Cambridge edition, the typography revolution and this is a cameo and you'll see here the beautiful uh, French Morocco leather and the layout with the particular typeface that's so important. And this is a cameo from Cambridge. Now, what has happened in modern times is people have concentrated onto, uh, for example, here's a Schuyler Bible, and they've looked at things like the yap and the, you know, the leather, the suppleness of the leather and the uh, binding and the layout and the typography and so on and they've gone away a little bit from the vintage and I think what's more important is the word of God itself now this is a Holman it's a, basically a paperback but do you know what this is a pure Cambridge edition so what is more important the words the very correctness of the King James Bible as we see in the pure Cambridge edition or that you have some sumptuous you know, leather and, and so forth. You see, at the end of the day, now I'm grateful we have here an example of a pure Cambridge edition in such a uh, premium, premium example, but what's really important is the Word of God itself. And that's why I just want to get the focus off all these uh, people reviewing Bibles that are just looking at the physical characteristics rather than not just the content, but even the addition, the editing, and ultimately the meaning of words, because what's really important is, yes, we should have good layout, but we should have knowledge of the exact words of the Word of God of Scripture. You can find more information generally on this topic if you find my book. It's called A Century of the Pure Cambridge Edition. It's on my website, BibleProtector.com.